Taylor Swift. And Travis Kelsey. All this rumor going on, oh, Travis Taylor Swift did this. Travis Kelsey did this. Travis Kelsey said uh, on an interview I saw with Pat uh, McAfee that he saw her rock Arrowhead Stadium, and now he wanted her to see him rock Arrowhead Stadium. People are like, oh, are Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift uh, dating and all this stuff? Here's the deal. Taylor Swift can do a lot better. I'm just going to be honest with you. Taylor Swift is a billionaire. She is maybe the most talented musician in American history from, from, listen, from the amount of money she is going to make. Taylor Swift is like 33 years old. She's already a billionaire. Her catalog of songs are going to be worth billions more. She's making, I think, over a billion dollars on her concert tour alone. I mean, she may, and it's not, it's not crazy. She may end up being worth one day 50 or $100 billion. No exaggeration. Just based on her catalog, continuing to work out uh, all the things, the value that she has created. I think she is the most successful musician in the history of the United States. Maybe the world. Again, not making a values judgment on the song, just based on the value of the, uh, the product that she has unlocked. Why does she want to be with Travis Kelsey? Look, Travis Kelsey's a good tight end. I got him on my fantasy team. I hope he stays healthy. Dime a dozen, dude, right? Six foot five, not that great looking. What does he have? Four, maybe five years at the most left in his career. And then what? He can do a podcast? Okay, sure. That's fine. I don't have anything against Travis Kelsey. I think he's very talented. I think he's a dime a dozen for Taylor Swift. Like, Taylor Swift is going to be worth $50 billion. There are like a million dudes that she could end up with that are successful. In five years, Travis Kelsey's career will have officially peaked. It may have already peaked. In five years, Taylor Swift's going to be every bit as famous as she is now. Heck, if she's still alive, in 50 years, she could still be just as popular. Mick Jagger's still out there on the stage. There's no reason she couldn't continue to... uh, The Rolling Stones still tour and sell out stadiums. There's no reason Taylor Swift couldn't be selling out stadiums in 50 years if she's still alive and healthy enough to do it. Travis Kelsey's going to be done in four years. Nobody's going to care about him in any football stadium in America in four years. She could do better. Now, maybe she loves him. Maybe it's true love. Maybe they're meant to be together. And if that's true, more power to her. She can pick anybody on the planet. But if I were assessing the relative benefits of a Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey, or uh, relationship, Travis Kelsey gains way more by being with Taylor Swift than Taylor Swift gains by being with Travis Kelsey. Everybody's talking about it. Travis Kelsey's jersey sales went up 400% because the Swifties are all rolling in. People have been saying, Clay Travis, you're one of the greatest relationship advice givers in the history of mankind. No one's actually said that, but in my mind, I think that I am. How would you assess Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey? And I said to myself, it's a bad move for Taylor Swift. Travis Kelsey is wildly outkicking his coverage here. He's a 33-year-old tight end, very talented tight end, but a 33-year-old tight end. He's not very good looking, I don't even think he's the best I don't even think he's the best looking tight end on the Kansas City Chiefs. If I had a daughter and I was giving her advice on who to date, I would not advise her to date to, uh, Travis Kelsey. Taylor Swift is making a poor choice here. Travis Kelsey's making a great choice. Taylor Swift's going to be a multi-billionaire. She probably already is. She may become the richest musician of all time. I can understand why she is attractive as a dating partner. I don't understand why Travis Kelsey is at all. And if I had a daughter, and look, the reality is I don't have a daughter. I'd like to have had a daughter. But I only produce Y sperm. I only produce male heirs. I had three kids, all three of them boys. 
If I had had six kids, I think they all would have been boys. If I had had 60 kids, I think they all would have had boys. I think if they tested my sperm, they would find out that I only produce Y sperm. I think if you're out there right now and you're like, I wish I'd had a son, I think if I was with your wife, she would have had a son. I am the Y sperm. Dr. Fauci said, I am the science. I am the Y sperm. By the way, I'm having fun here. It's going to be, somebody's going to write this as a headline. Clay Travis, I only produce Y sperm. It's impossible for me to have a daughter. Be a funny headline. Um, So I don't have a daughter. If Taylor Swift is my daughter, I would sit down with her. I would say, you're a billionaire. You are super talented in writing songs. You're going to write a breakup song about Travis Kelsey. And it may well do well. But at some point, do you want to get married or not? If you want to get married, and if the purpose of dating is to get married, you are wasting your time with Travis Kelsey. He is a dime a dozen. He's not that good looking. His career is almost over. You can do better. Even if you want to date a tight end in the NFL. I don't know how many of them are single. A lot of them are better looking than Travis Kelsey. And... They're younger. They're going to be in the league for longer. In three years, Travis Kelsey's going to be done in the NFL. What's he going to be doing? WWE wrestling? Taylor Swift want to date a WWE wrestler? Unless you think Travis Kelsey is the next rock. Maybe he is. It's a bad match for Taylor Swift. All the Swifties are mad at me. Like, I can't even check my mentions right now. All these Taylor Swift fans are just bombarding me. We got... Complaint. We got. We had a five hundred thousand view uh, TikTok. I don't even know how it works. And we got a. a the, the Swifties were mad because I, I uh, denigrated the relationship in a TikTok video, and they got it pulled off TikTok. This is not going to be a successful relationship. And I say this humbly as the greatest relationship advisor on the planet, as a man who only produces Y sperm and can only have sons. Taylor. If you were my daughter, this is a bad relationship choice. Now, it's brilliant for the NFL. If I were Roger Goodell and I'm sitting there and I was like, what fan base could we cross-pollinate with the NFL to create even larger and more extensive knowledge in the NFL? I would have said Taylor Swift. Because what do you think? 20% of Taylor Swift's fan base also NFL fans, it's probably fair, right? There's not a big overlap. Two huge fan bases, and now they're brought together. I'm not sure there's any person in America that you could point to and expand the NFL audience better than by trying to get the Taylor Swift fan base all fired up. So it's brilliant cross-pollination, cross-marketing. Also good for Taylor Swift, because I think there's tons of NFL fans that don't really know Taylor Swift. And I say this, by the way, the Swifties are all mad at me. I bought tickets to Taylor Swift's last concert. I bought like third row seats. I took my wife. It wasn't me solo or me with another dude. That would be weird. I took my wife and we sat like third row when she performed at Bridgestone Arena. It was maybe six or seven years ago. I don't remember. My wife makes fun of me. Because I like Taylor Swift songs. I'm not going to lie. I think she's like got a, a lot of catchy tunes. That's why, as the greatest relationship advice expert on the planet, and also simultaneously a man who doesn't even produce X sperm, I couldn't even have a daughter if I wanted to. I am telling you, bad decision. You can do better, Taylor. Take it from me. I am an expert on everything.